Uh, for the past 28 years, I've been a youth pastor at First Presbyterian Church in Nashville. And uh, during that time, uh, one of the largest challenges we had to overcome was how do we move from having two or three sort of superhero volunteers to having a team that can work with all the kids we're dealing with. So we, we had to move from having, you know, just a handful of volunteers to having probably close to 100 volunteers in any given year. And, and as we did that year after year, we sort of would develop uh, different processes to do that. And, and this project is sort of a culmination of uh, some of that experience. Uh, we decided to create a 30-day process. Um, we felt like um, if we can get churches to focus or youth pastors or key leaders in a ministry, and incidentally, this is a process that doesn't just work in youth ministries, it also works in music ministries and children's ministries and young adult ministries. In fact, entire churches have, have worked this process in some form or another. So the process starts with just identifying the needs. And then we move from there to a process, really clear processes for developing your pool of possible people that could be volunteers. And then uh, uh, we, we want to give our readers a really uh, helpful uh, sort of filtering process for determining what kind of leaders are going to serve in what best roles. And then, and then uh, there's just a lot of help with how do you ask, what kind of ways to ask, what do you do over email, what do you do uh, over the phone, uh, and some, some do's and don'ts. But we sort of walk through that process, not doing a single ask until these first four steps get all cleared up. And um, there are five days of work. We, we basically estimate about an hour and a half a day, uh, six days a week. One day is a, a day of rest and reflection, maybe meeting with a prayer partner over this process. Uh, and another day is a day of sort of uh, planning and uh, calculating, looking forward and looking back. Um, but we, we built this rhythm of basically a, an opening day, a closing day, and then four weeks in the middle. And, and sadly, many people would rather not do that. They would rather continue doing what they're doing and then complain that they have no volunteers a year from now. And, but this is for that group of people that says, I, I really want my ministry to be in a different place a year from now than it is now. And it gives really clear stepping stones for how to do that.